welcome back to Cover Killer Nation's Heavy Metal Holidays. Here we have another couple of bands for you to check out from Heavy Metal's history, so you might have something brand new to listen to during this holiday season, whichever it is that you happen to celebrate. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. On with the bands. Abattoir is a group whose claim to fame could be that they were the opening band for most of Megadeth's early shows in 1984. However, this thrash metal band is not one that should be ignored, as their two studio albums, Vicious Attack and The Only Safe Place, are actually a fairly decent representation of the speed metal slash thrash metal fascination that was taking place at the time. These two albums definitely showcase why this style of music was on the forefront of heavy metal topics, heavy metal tongues, and overall music variety. While this group hasn't done anything since the late 1980s, they have reunited on a couple of different occasions in order to do shows and to attempt to record new material, though unsuccessfully past the demo stage. This is a great band, definitely one that is somewhat forgotten in the Thrashiverse, and one that you should check out this holiday season. Most people know the Drovers from their contributions to Megadeth in the late 2000s, but few knew where they came from. The name of the band was Eidolon, and for a decade prior to their contributions in Megadeth, this is what the Drovers were all about. This speed thrash slash power metal project was their baby, and albums such as the Parallel Otherworld really showcased the fact that those constraints were not necessarily, well, constraining. 11 minute tracks, 7 minute tracks, lengthy compositions were not out of the question, the guitar work is deep, and the lyrics were, well, kind of gloomy, but at the same time, really, really powerful. A couple other choice albums from this group that is often forgotten are Nightmare World, Hallowed Apparition, and Coma Nation, but overall this is just a group that really is deserving of your attention, considering just how tight the songwriting is. Do yourself a favor and look up this underrated gem this holiday season. Excluding death metal from a very heavy metal holidays would be pretty criminal, so here's a legend of the genre, at least in Mexico. Cenotaph was a group that started in the 1980s as Damned Cross and then changed their name at the turn of the decade. The album that you see on the screen, The Gloomy Reflection of Our Hidden Sorrows, is kind of a legend of the subgenre, considering this is one that was recorded during the age when death metal was starting to get some new tools added to the tool shed, and this one showcased even more dynamics. Six and eight minute long songs on this disc are fantastic, not to mention it becomes a commonplace tradition. There are a couple of more albums that this group released in the 1990s, including Writing Our Black Oceans, until their final release in 2002, which is Saga Bellica. In Mexico, these guys are considered to be death metal pioneers, and for the overall genre, they're kind of a group that's not mentioned as much as they really should be. They definitely have a lot to offer, so check these guys out and pay some respect. And with that being said, I want to thank you for watching Day 2 of A Heavy Metal Holidays. Hopefully you found a few new bands to check out, and we'll return tomorrow whenever I give you a couple more. That way your heavy metal holidays can be spent rockin'. I'm Cover Killer Nation, and I'll see you tomorrow.